Hello, and Charlie Follows, subscribe, president, and watches my YouTube videos. I am at a comic book convention. Well, I'm in a parking lot at a convention center <laughs> where a small comic book show is going on. I'm at Grit City Comic Show, uh, just parked, and I'm heading in to go on a comic book hunt. Let's see what comic books I get this week, this time, this month, because this is a different month. I went to Bellingham last month. I'll put the link to Bellingham below if you haven't seen that video yet. So let's go. Okay, I'm on the con. We're doing wristbands today because the smaller cons today is saving money, being fiscally responsible, making sure they have everything they need. I'm going to head into the con floor. There's some things already out here, like there's some like, Legos back there, and there's some other people like from other cons and other things going on. So let's get the video of that. I haven't been in this con or this con in this building in a while, so I'm just going to wander for a bit and then decide what I want to spend all my money on because that's going to happen. Okay, so I've only been like down two aisles and I've seen like four people I know. I was just so excited that I like, have booths here. They're so creative. I didn't get pictures, I didn't get videos of their, of their booths, but it was just fun to see their booths. And there's just so many cool things. I accidentally started an artist alley, which is a great place to start because there's so many people with so many great pieces of artwork you can look at. show has some cars here I think they got oh yeah they got oh they got one more other car look it's the Ghostbuster mobile <laughs> that's so cool I love this show it's a great show oh my gosh they got oh this is a cool thing I have to show you this what's really great about these people that bring these cars is they are also um, raising funds for um, different kinds of uh, charities so it's a really great way to give back to the community. I really love that they do that. Um, these are some things you can get if you uh, want to take a picture inside of the vehicle. And of course, there's the Ghostbuster vehicle. There's a group of people dressed as Ghostbusters. It's so cool. I love it. It's always fun to see. Got, they've got a, an actual moving Slimer. <laughs> Look at his arms. It's so cool. This is fun. This is fun. Look at it up close. Wow. Oh, they got a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, even. <laughs> Look, they have a board game area where you can play some board games of sorts. People are playing Magic and some other games here. So cool. So they're actually printing right now something on their 3D printer here at the show. Look at all the 3D printed stuff they got. It's so cool. The whole con is cool. Ooh, they got some tight dice towers. Yeah, oh wow, look at some of these dice towers. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get a dice tower. Okay, I've wandered around the con enough. Now it's time to dig into um, long boxes and find some comic books. My focus is gonna be on Wonder Woman, but if I see the things that's on my list, I will get them. So let's go. dent in my run for Wonder Woman. Uh, they were five for 15. So I got five, 10, 15. I got like $60 worth. A lot of, a big chunk of it. I just got a big chunk of it. The part of me feels like I don't want, I don't want to spend anymore because this was $60. <laughs> they were four each, but then five for 15 or something like my brain's going to have numbers because I just spent a lot of money. Um, but yeah, look at them. Look at them. Uh, all right. I think, I think I'm going to take a break. Maybe get a snack, chill for a bit. Maybe go say hi to some friends. Then an artist Sally, and then uh, go from there. Okay, decided to get out and get some fresh air. And also, 
that big bag of comic books I just got. And I'll put it in my car because I got tired of carrying it around. And I might go back in and look at more comic books or I might go in and look for art to buy from the Artist Alley and maybe, maybe look at some gifts for people for Christmas. Because I don't know when I'm going to have a chance to do any more geeky shopping for Christmas stuff. So I'm going to do that today. So, all right, let's just drop these off and maybe rest for a bit. And we're supposed to meet some friends later for dinner. So, oh, it's an echo chamber in now. All right, anyway, let's drop the stuff off. Okay, the show's nearly over and I still I still bought stuff. I hung out with some friends. They're still buying stuff, but my parking space is, uh, time is up. So I need to go to my car and move it. So um, we're ending the, the vlog. So thanks for coming out. If you want to stay looking, you'll find that I'm going to show you everything I bought. So if you stay on, you'll see what I bought, okay? All right, we're back from Grit City Comic Show. It's a few days later. Um, now I'm gonna show you what I got, what, what I got at the con. So I got a few different things. I'll start with um, some stuff from a friend of mine, an artist. So I, in Artist Alley, I found a friend of mine. There were a few people actually I saw in Artist Alley. But some of the stuff I got from one of them is, his name's Kevin. I forgot how to say his last name, but he'll know. <laughs> anyway, this came from Kevin. I will put a link to him and where you can buy some of his artwork in the description. He made a bunch of really cool things from different things, but from different like genre of comic book related characters. But my favorite thing he made was, um, this little ash can, and in each page is a picture of a uh, member of <laughs> the X-Men, and there's a quote from Friends. So this is Angel, and it says, it's a moo point. <laughs> and like, this, of course, this is very fitting for, for Cyclops. We were on a break. <laughs> so I just thought this was funny. Um, yeah, it's... It's really funny, I, I just giggle at each page. Each page has something funnier on it and something different. Uh, yeah, so that I got that from him. And then he had a little package that had a bunch of postcards. The one that stood out to me, I didn't realize it was postcards, I thought it was just, he was holding up these in it for him. But this is a um, Wonder Woman from like a classic era. Uh, and then there's Supergirl. Very classic Supergirl. And then there's Harley Quinn, sort of like a Valentine almost. And then, oh, this is what I already actually have. I actually own this already, so I'm definitely giving this to someone. This is a uh, Wonder Girl. It's on my wall. Actually, I have the actual print of it on the wall right up there. You can sort of see it in the corner. And then, oh, this is gorgeous. This is Poison Ivy. So these are postcards. Um, FYI, I have a Patreon. And one level of Patreon, you get a postcard every month from me with just something saying thank you for being a patron. So uh, link to all that's in the description too, shameless plug. <laughs> and last but not least, he made like this little encyclopedia kind of thing with uh, information about um, different X-Men characters. So like here is uh, Marvel Girl or uh, Jean Grey and this lovely lobster character. Um, but yeah, he made all those. He's just a great artist, local guy, really love his stuff. So again, link in the description. Next is some stuff that's wood carved, laser wood carved. I got two of them. Um, they're different things from different geeky things that I like. Um, the name of the company, let me find their card. What did I do with their card? Oh, here it is. Freckled Lion Workshop. Freckled Lion Workshop. So uh, the two that I got, one is for the Disney adult in me. It's Disneyland, the map of Disneyland from this is from, I think, 1958 or something. So like when it, near, yeah, when it first opened, this is what it looked like. So I have a whole area of my house that is Disney themed. Uh, FYI, if you're interested, leave a comment to let me know whether you would like to see the Disney themed part of my place that I live in. So this will go up in that space. I haven't figured out where, somewhere. The other thing I got was another laser cut picture. It is part of my Star Trek geekiness. It is the Star Trek Voyager ship with diagrams of where things are located. Isn't that neat? That's so cool. I thought it was really cool. Because uh, I do have a little area in my apartment for my Star Trek geekiness and mainly it is Star Trek Voyager because I am a huge fan of Star Trek Voyager. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool. It shows you where the different things are like forward tracker, the shuttle bay doors, stuff like that. 
just really cool because it's my favorite ship and my favorite uh, TV series of the Star Trek TV series. Next is two things. The first one, the artist was inspired by the uh, recent X-Men 97 um, uh, animated series that came out and he decided to do a bunch of uh, characters from it. I decided to pick up the one I thought was my favorite and it's Phoenix. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. So I have that wall where I have the Dazzler and a bunch of other X-Men stuff and there's a space just between some stuff that I can put this up on the wall it is by a guy named Jeff Carpenter. And again, his stuff will be in the link in the description at, below. But I also got a sticker. Uh, it says Schnick. So that's the, um, what happens when night or what Wolverine, his claws come out. So sticked. So I got that to put on something. I don't know what I'm going to put it on yet, but we'll see. Um, I think that's all the art. Oh, wait, there's one more. The other piece is a sticker I got from a friend who was helping out another person's booth, and I didn't get their information. I thought I did, but I didn't. But as a sticker, um, it's a, a little kitty that says, stay hydrated, and I put it on my water bottle. <laughs> Just a reminder to stay hydrated. <laughs> the water bottle, FYI, has some other fun stickers I got from other people. Uh, so that's another story. Um, so I think that is all the artwork. Uh, but there is one other thing I got that isn't comic books, but was comic book related that I saw. My friends and I were just walking by a booth and there was a stand, lots of like 80s, 90s kitsch toys and stuff. And underneath this stand in this little shaded area were a bunch of these uh, drinking glasses, pint glasses. And I found her. That's right. Look at her. Water woman. Dun, 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 dun. Look at her. I love the little symbols down here like this. It's so exciting. I'm so excited for it. And I just want to thank my friend, uh, Wonder Bar Cosplay, because he um, had cash on him that he could let me use to buy it because I didn't want to use my card and make them have to pay extra and make me pay extra for something that was $5. Look at it. Oh, she looks amazing. So cool. Can't wait to drink out of this. I'm gonna be. I'm only gonna wash this by hand. I'm not putting this in the dishwasher because I've had other glasses like that that have the etched on, like this does. And over time in the dishwasher, it just it just comes right off. So you will be hand washed, my lovely. Mm. <laughs> or I might not even. Drink. I mean, she might just become a display thing. We'll see. <laughs> All right, enough of that geeky side stuff. Let's get into the comic books I got. Ugh. I got so many comic books. Okay, so as you saw in the video, I went around and went to about four different vendors to look at comic books. And I got to a point where I realized how much I'd spent. Uh, my goal was to stay within $100. Just on the stuff I just showed you, that was almost $100. It wasn't quite $100, but it was close to $100. And then I started getting comic books. And one booth, they had comic books. They were going back issues for $4. But if you got five of them, it was $15. And as you know, I'm trying to fill in my comic, my collection of Wonder Woman comics. So they had a very large selection of Wonder Woman comics. Um, ugh, this many. Um, so four, if you take away about four or five of these from this, <laughs> I got most of these from that person. And that was $60. So, um, yeah. So, like, you can see the price tag. Oop, let me hold it a different way. You can see the price tag that they had on it. It was for $6, but everything was $4. Um, so they ranged in prices from 4 to $8, but they were all $4. And then I got the di discount because I got, I got, a, I got, I was looking at them all and like, okay, that's five, that's five, that's five. And it came out to $60 just for those. So, but then I got some others at some other booths. Uh, one of my favorite uh, artists who also became a writer, he wrote a tale called Otherworld. And I believe it, it was for Vertigo. So uh, this is number three in the series. This is number four in the series. Oop, there's a little glare, four. And uh, then number two, I have number one somewhere, I think. So I was like, you know what? I need to get these other ones because they're cool. It's Bill Jimenez and you know, I really like his work. I actually, I think with the, the issue I did got, I posted it long ago on 
some social media that he's also on. He's like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that series I made. <laughs> but I hear he might be going back to that series. So we'll see. Uh, I also picked up an X-Men comic book. This is X-Men Unlimited. And this is good old Bill Senkovich or Senkovich, Sen Senkovich. Uh, so I was like, I have to get this. At first I thought, oh, did you just do the cover? Nope, he did the artwork on the inside. I believe it's his. Hold on, I should double check. What am I doing here? Ooh, where is it? Can I put my glasses on? Yep. Oh, <laughs> not just by Bill. It's also a Chris Claremont book. Score, I love getting me some Chris Claremont. Goodness. All right, yeah. Then I found this little trade uh, paperback. It's called JLA Riddle of the Beast. It's it's like the recent um, uh, uh, Dark Knights or Dark Knights like medieval concept of the superhero uh, DC Comics characters. It's another version of that. Um, it's just another tale, um, fairies and sorcerers and magic. And I thought, oh, I love that. So it's a blend of the, the DC comic characters in a world that is uh, mainly the fae, mainly fairy tales. So I thought, I've got to get that. Another uh, graphic novel I've been trying to get, and I have most of the other volumes. Um, and I don't think this is the big volume. So it's uh, The Hero Defined Mage uh, by M Matt Wagner. This is vault number three. Um, I have numbers one and two. Here's, uh, here's number one, which I already own. And this is number three. But I think this one's a little smaller, so I don't know if this is the same, got the same amount of stuff as that one does, but... I'm like, yeah, I need it, because these are great stories. It's a Arthurian legend, but what if it was during the 90s, and instead of Excalibur reading a sword, it's a baseball bat. <laughs> great stories. I really enjoy it. Um, every man kind of character. Then I got uh, this uh, annual called the Teen Titans Lost Annual. Um, so it's the Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans. I thought it was cool because it's Teen Titans, it's Titans related, and I love Teen Titans, Titan stuff. I do have some that I need to get from some of the different volumes, but I thought this would be fun. Um, Mike Allred, it looks like. No, Nick Cardi is the artist on the cover, and it looks like um, this guy named Jay Stevens did the pencils, but the inks are by Mike Allred. So it's definitely got his kind of aesthetic going on. Next is a uh, Marvel comic book I got because I own issue one and I was like, oh my gosh, this has a second issue and I didn't know it. It is Krull, right? The TV, the movie Krull. They made a comic book. So this is a second issue. I think it's only two issues. Um, so I have issue one and now I have issue two. So I have that, that series finished, but this is the series that I haven't finished. Um, so I'm just going to I'm going to run through these really quick because there's there's a lot of them. So, you know, just going to show you everything I got. And you can look at it and stop it if you want to look at it better. Then I got the first thing I got was this annual. Um, I, had to find, I had to find this annual to round out the the ones that were four for fit or five for 15 because I had like a stack of four. And I'm like, crap, I need another one. Oh, wait, this is annual. I don't think I have this annual. So I got this annual. And then starting with the, the lowest number one I got, this is number 46. And this cover, this is one of my favorite covers of the ones I've gotten, I think. This is number 48. It's definitely a cheetah themed cover, but look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Just great. And then we have a number 51. And then we have number 52. This is one of my other favorite ones. It's uh, so cool. It's one of it looks like fighting with Hermes. So that's a number 54. I thought I had this one, but I guess I don't. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot I'm missing from that those runs. And then um, here is number 70. And then 70, ooh, 73. 76. Oh, this one's creepy. Bugs. Ew, I'm not fun of that bugs. That's 77. Then 78. There's the Flash. And then this is 79. Still the crossover with Flash. Then we have <laughs> Hero Sandwich. <laughs> I 
number 80, and then number 85. This is very much a lot of, there's a lot of Batman covers that look like this, so it's interesting they did a Wonder Woman cover with Batman Bat on it. And then this one's interesting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this cover, but it's a very, a lot of people know this cover. Wonder Woman holding on to Superman. Wow. And then we get into some of the John Byrne era when he was drawing and writing. So there's a John Byrne. That's number 114. Then we have 119. Then we have number 121, which this storyline of them being all stone, that's been in a few different uh, animated shows we've seen. And then we get into a, um, I think this is a, uh, I've forgotten the artist's name. My brain's blanking. Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes cover. This is by written by Phil Jimenez. It is uh, number 165. So definitely Adam Hughes. You can see the original price was 15. I think I got it for $5 off. And this one was originally 20. And this is also an Adam Hughes cover. Um, that one says it's for 20. And I think I got it for five off. And then, oh, this is a really cool cover. I didn't see this one before. This is by Greg Rucka. Doing his run on Wonder Woman. And last but not least, my last one is from issue number 214 of volume two. It's another crossover with The Flash. So, all right. So that's all the comic books I got at Grit City Comic Show this weekend. Again, in the description, you'll find more about the Grit City Comic Show. It's a one-day con in Tacoma, Washington. I enjoy going to it every year. Um, thanks for watching this video, as always. You know what to do. And then, as you know, we always say this. You know what to say. Say it with me. Comic books are for everyone. Yeah. All right. Thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.